Hi everyone, today I am going to demonstrate a beautiful bird painting with oil pastels. Here I am using dark grey toned 160 GSM paper and as I have mentioned in my previous tutorial that I prefer to mix oil pastels of different brands. Here also I will be doing the same for this bird painting. I will be using Pentel Montmartre and uh, Sennelier for the top layer. I'm going to use a copyright free reference photo uh, for my painting. So I have started with the background and here you can see I have used many different colors to create a really blurry background. I will be demonstrating two different methods to create this blurry background. Uh, so here I'm uh, applying pressure with my fingertip, not pressing it a little hard not really hard but hard enough to apply some pressure on the pigments uh, for the background i have used a few shades of green uh, like cooker's green sap green light blue gray and from crepa specialist uh, box i have selected naples yellow uh, you can replace naples yellow with a pale orange or any other lighter shade of similar value you can see I'm using circular motions to blend the colors and at this stage it doesn't look really great but it really doesn't matter because uh, it is at this stage it is important to place our colors where they should be and when we blend the colors it is going to create a smooth um, bloody background. At this stage, I can feel that we can add some more layers to, uh, you know, cover up the gaps and uh, for those transitions to look even nicer and smoother. So for the second layer, I will be using the oil pastels directly on the paper. And uh, at this stage, as you can see that it looks really messy, but it doesn't matter. Uh, at the end, we are going to blend the colors very smoothly and we are going to create that uniform blurry background now i will be adding a bit more oil pastels here and there and blend certain areas again uh, and we'll continue with the background before we start coloring the bird For sketching, I have used white charcoal since we are using a dark grey tone paper. Now I am going to start with the smaller areas of the bird and uh, we need to just uh, try to make it look like the hairs are growing in the correct direction. If we just scribble colors in any which way to color in it won't look good. Also make sure your color sticks are not contaminated with other colors and they try to clean it before you start using it for the hairs we generally use narrow strokes and uh, lines uh, kind of try to overlap the colors to make it more dimensional so basically we try to create a nice texture by overlapping layers and at the same time, uh, we need to pay attention to the light and dark areas. 
but the most important part is to create the overlapping layers in the correct direction in which the hair grows. So uh, what all I wanted to demonstrate in all my birds and animals painting with oil based stills is that it is not at all impossible to create the uh, fine detailing with oil based stills. You just need to learn the tricks and the techniques to create the fine details. I generally use the sharp edge of the pastel sticks or to blend the colors in smaller areas or to draw fine lines in smaller areas. We can use paper stumps or color shapers uh, or we can actually use our paint brush and turpentine oil um, with oil pastels to create the fine lines. I have demonstrated this uh, technique with paint brush and turpentine oil in many videos. If you haven't uh, watched my previous bird painting tutorials, do check them out. I will be posting the video links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon that will notify you each time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my video. That's all for now. Thank you.